So these type of videos are very, very unusual in my YouTube channel, not because I don't want to, but because I don't know, it's not like the, the, the subject of the YouTube channel and so on. But now that we have over 109,000 subscribers, I even actually post this on my YouTube channel, like community section asking what type of videos would you like to see me uploading on my YouTube channel during this uh, couple of weeks, maybe. And uh, you guys asked for this personal video. And to me, this is going to be a very special video uh, where you're going to get to know me a lot, a lot, a lot, uh, you know, a lot of things that you haven't really met before. Probably there's a, there's a few personal videos out there in my YouTube channel, but they're not really viral. So you have to really dig into it. But if you're not a subscriber right now, then you're probably going to get to know me a little bit. So, um, this, uh, since it's a personal video, probably you already know me, Christian from BLW trading, online trading. I'm the CEO of the company and I've been a day trader for over seven, six years now. And, uh, a, a, an influencer, YouTuber, Instagram or whatever <laughs> within the next, within the last uh, six years as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, start with this video. All right, so I want to start with, um, uh, you know, there's there was a lot there were a lot of questions in, in this. It was actually from one comment, actually, that the one that actually asked all these questions from all in the money. That's the name of the channel that actually asked for all these questions. And I appreciate it. But these were questions that many other people had asked in the past. OK, but I'm going to start by telling you who I currently am right now. And then I'm going to tell you who I used to be. So I'm a 30, almost 32 year entrepreneur, uh, uh, March the 30th is actually my birthday. So I'm going to become, I'm going to turn 32. I am a full-time day trader, full-time, well, actually more a full-time YouTuber nowadays. I don't really day trade as I used to. I used to trade every single day, Monday through Friday, uh, back in 2017. I uh, used to trade even Forex, crypto and binary and this and the, all that. But nowadays it's actually uh, completely different. Why? Because mostly because I reached my target. All right. I made the money that I wanted. And more importantly, I didn't find the value that I was looking for in just money. So I decided to actually build a company where I could actually provide with jobs to people. I gathered some of my friends, they became uh, partners. And now the company has, I don't even know, I'm not sure, around 30 people working with us. It's not like 100, 2000 people working for us, but it's actually completely, uh, given value to what I do, you know? So, uh, basically right now I'm more like a business owner slash YouTuber. And, um, well, I don't know what else to tell you about who I currently am. I'm a, a complete different person throughout the last two years. I've learned more than I had learned for the first, uh, what? 30 years of my life, 29 years of my life. I was married. Uh, this comes actually after, but I learned so many things during the last two years from the pandemic all the way to here that made me a complete different person. You guys can probably realize that even in my videos, I used to be very, very rude uh, when uh, answering uh, questions right now. I'm actually tough. Well, you know, nothing that you can't handle. Right. But I used to be super uh, rude in my uh, Facebook group. You guys have been following me for, I don't know, for five, four years. You probably remember that I used to kick everyone out and I would be, uh, you know, like super, super aggressive with many stuff. But nowadays, uh, I don't know. I think I completely, I'm, I'm completely different. I learned that being humble actually uh, gets you further away. You know, like, I mean, further, I don't even know how to say it, but it gives you more results, more good results, right? To be humble. Uh, I used to spend a lot of money on stuff that will show that I had money, you know, like uh, 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 diamond stuff, you know, like, I don't know. In, in the country where I live, it's not like I can just go ahead and be showing around with a with a Gucci stuff and, and you know, and, and just not getting kidnapped or I don't know, 
killed or whatever. You know, here is this country is actually completely unsafe. Uh, I'm in Guatemala, by the way, in Central America. So no, not really uh, a place where you can actually be showing off that you have money. But I try to do it on my channel. I try to do it on my Instagram account and of course with the close friends. But it was a complete, completely different mentality, mentality that I had. I wanted to show people that I could uh, outstand even uh, when I was coming out of pro poverty, like extreme poverty, you know, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to talk about it in just a bit, but in my childhood, there were days where I didn't have anything to eat. So I'm, I, I was feeling like incredibly proud and I still do like feel really proud of where I come from and what I was able to achieve. But uh, back then I used to show it in a wrong way, or at least in a way that I don't like anymore, you know, like showing off money, spending, uh, you know what I mean, right? Being cocky about it. But yeah, nowadays I'm a completely different person. Uh, I dedicate my time to actually try to help people, not only you on YouTube, but anybody who is actually around me that has financial issues, emotional issues, uh, personal issues. Only thing I don't help is with spiritual issues because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not really that religious person. But other than that, if you need help from me, you can always ask me, at least the people who are around me and they already know that. Uh, I'm always going to help no matter what. And I'm never asking for anything in exchange and I'm never asking to pay me back. You know, I'm just hoping that your life gets a little better with whoever, whatever help I'm giving you. Okay. So that's basically who I currently am. And I want to extend this video too much, but, uh, let's go ahead and talk about my childhood. Uh, this person actually mentioned my childhood. Um, uh, how was, uh, I know he, he didn't actually mention it, but I wanted to talk about it because look, you guys can learn from where I come from and for from what I do. I actually had an interview with Michael Freeman. Some of you might remember it back when I was in, in Italy in Florence, if I'm not mistaken, I had an interview with him. He actually did the interview to me talking about my past, about my childhood. I'm actually going to link this video below in the description. It's like a 30 minute interview where I actually was very sincere about the stuff that I went through when I was a kid. But just to sum up right here I, I come from a really poor family in a poor country in a poor neighborhood and you know it's a cliche or whatever but the point is that i come from nothing all right so i used to be surrounded with my cousins they had a better lifestyle zone my brothers and i didn't have the same opportunities and it's not complaining because i'm actually way way better than my entire family i'm the richest person of my family right now so it's okay you know just to remember the past but that's what my childhood used to be my mom used to work uh full time uh, she got divorced uh, from my uh, father my father just went away and had a different family and i used to live just with more one of my brothers and uh, with lester by the way and with my mom so lester was actually working my mom was actually working and i used to just be on the street doing bad stuff uh you already probably already know if you didn't uh, there are a bunch of gangs right here in central america so i used to be you know hanging around or hanging out with those gang members and so on um and uh then this was my childhood slash teenage because at the end of the day it was like uh when i was 12 my parents got divorced so i started to you know do those dumb things that i used to do when i became a teenager 13 14 15 all of my friends literally got killed one by one i didn't kill i, I didn't get killed because the people who are actually you know against let's say our group got killed too by somebody else i don't know but uh, honestly i think I, I don't believe in the destiny and so on i do believe that you actually uh find your own opportunities and take advantage of them but i do believe in luck in some way you know like it's not like you're lucky and you're gonna win the lottery but i do believe that sometimes stuff that are very likely to happen to you don't happen to you for some reason so i call myself lucky right okay i was lucky i didn't get killed you know what i mean so then uh after that happened i think i opened my eyes the way it was supposed to and uh i don't know i became a better person of course a better person that you can be at 16 17 years old right when i turned 18 i graduated from high school and i couldn't go to college because i had to work 
So I started working, you know, it was a, a nine to five job as usual, minimum wage, minimum wage here used to be $210 or something like that a month. So uh, probably you already know that part of my story, you know, when I had no money at all, you can go into the uh, BLW training uh, webinar that I have and I talk about it uh, more deeply. But yeah, pretty much that was my uh, childhood and, and, and teenaging. Then obviously around 20... <laughs> Four, I started to hustle. I really always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I didn't like working for people. So I became an entrepreneur ever since I was 18 years old. When I realized that I could build a business, I tried really hard and hard and hard. Back when I was 2006, uh, uh, I was uh, 26. So it was 2006 is when I first started making money on my own. The rest is history. Now, this brings us to the next question that he asked me. Am I a millionaire? Yeah, uh, but he actually literally asked in US dollars. And no, I'm not a millionaire in US dollars. And there is a, a couple of things that you guys should learn this uh, from my mistakes. Okay. Yeah, uh, at, at the beginning of this year, I was actually looking at my numbers. Uh, you know, like, like my accountant and so on. And I send them your report. I realized that I had made, I think it was $2.4 million. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. I remember. Okay, I'm sorry. I remember. But I made a lot of money, all right? I made a, I think it was like a million dollars. I don't remember. It was $1 million in US dollars. Yes, it was $1 million in US dollars last year. But I didn't have nearly 30% of that money. I didn't have that money. The thing is that last year, uh, I had a lot of expenses but I also had a lot of trips, okay? I'm, I'm not regretting that, all right? I enjoy them and I'll do it again actually this year. But I did spend a lot of money on stuff that were not investments, okay? Consider it to be a millionaire and, uh, uh, in the States is actually to turn $1 million into uh, in one year calendar just by your own. I think $2 million if you're a couple or $1.5 million if you're a couple, I'm not sure. Or to be net worth $1 million in, in houses or businesses or whatever. So basically, yeah, I am a millionaire in USD, but I did not take advantage of it. OK, uh, there are some things that I could have done differently that now this year I'm actually doing differently. As a matter of fact, right now, this year, I decided to do a bunch of th things differently. I'm actually legalizing two more businesses that I'm going to start like like big businesses again. And I'm starting along with two other small businesses that I want to grow within this year. So at the end of this year, I might have six different companies uh, going on in my name. Um, the reason why I'm actually doing this is because I did realize that I didn't take advantage of last year. Last year, I just wanted to enjoy. I, I went through a lot of bad stuff last year. Honestly, it was the worst slash best year of my life. Uh, worst because uh, it, 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 I had a lot of personal issues, but the best in regards to business, in, the, in regards to YouTube, in regards to money wise and so on. So I learned a lot of things, but yeah. To come to a conclusion, yes, uh, right now I am a millionaire in US dollars. Now, uh, he did ask me about my weekends. I'm not a, I'm sure if it's he or she, I'm sorry, because the name is all in the money, right? But uh, weekends, what is it that I do during my weekends? One thing that you should know is that I love traveling. Okay, you probably already seen that. I always am posting pictures on my Instagram account where I'm somewhere else besides my home. And for instance, uh, January, the first week, uh, oh, I had COVID, I couldn't travel, but I did have one trip scheduled for the first week of January, I couldn't go, I moved the date. Then the second week, I was on a trip, I was at the beach. Then last week, I was on the beach. Then actually at the time I'm recording this video tomorrow, I'm going to the beach. I love going to the beach, okay, I love it. Either it's family, whether it's friends, I do love to be there. Then next week, I'm actually going to Costa Rica for uh, it's, it's, it's kind of a business trip um, related to some crypto stuff. Then I'm going to Dubai for an affiliate conference uh, in at the end of March, uh, February and beginning of March. Then I'm going to Madrid in Spain on uh, what's this? The El Clasico for Real Madrid against Barcelona for the soccer teams. Then um, April, I'm going to Colombia again because I love Colombia. My mom loves it. So I decided to take her for a entire week, you know, to chill out. Uh, then on May, I'm actually going to London for a concert. 
uh, May's last June. And then I do have some other uh, trips that I haven't bought tickets for, but I'm going to Amsterdam, I'm going to Barcelona, I'm going to Mexico for a bunch of times during this year. So yeah, why is it that I mentioned this? Is because I don't like to spend the weekends at home. It's not that I don't like it because I don't know, for some, I have some issues or whatever. I just like to uh, really take advantage of my time. You know, I'm alive, I'm healthy, and I got money. So I really need to enjoy it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do have uh, two uh, girls, two children, and I spend my weekends either with them or spend like weekdays with them, and then I chill out during the weekend. Most of the times on Sundays, I'm with them, but uh, just so that you guys know. If I'm not traveling during the weekend, what is it that I do? Honestly, I work out, try to eat healthy most of the times, so at least breakfast and, and, and lunch, and most likely dinner, I'm just gonna, you know, eat not the way I'm supposed to. Uh, but I like to play uh, Xbox, you know, FIFA game, uh, uh, I don't know, Call of Duty. I like to play a lot when I have nothing to do, but I'm always working during the weekends, all right? There's no single day of my life during the last four years that I haven't worked at least 10 minutes. So I take a look at the payroll, I pay the signal providers, or I don't know, I withdraw some Bitcoin, I'm not sure, but I'm always doing something at work. Then uh, I try to get together with my friends. If I don't actually travel, then I tell them, hey, we should just hang out either in my place or go someone else. Uh, somewhere else where we can have a couple of beers. I love whiskey. I love uh, Black Label, Johnny Walker. That's my favorite. Actually, Double Black is my my favorite. So I, if you go to my kitchen right now, you're gonna find like three bottles in there because I always like to give my you know my drinks. Uh, sometimes I get drunk. Sometimes it's just you know to chill out. It really depends. But that's basically what I do during my weekends. I love soccer. I love Real Madrid. So most of the times there are uh, uh, games going on during the weekend. So I, you know, prepare my schedule towards the game. So sometimes my brother comes in, my mom comes in, my baby comes in and so on. So I try to watch the game. But babe, that's basically it, right? It's not, it's not like, it's just chill out. I try to recover the energy because on Mondays, I'm usually waking up completely hungry of money. All right, that's not gonna change ever. Uh, next question is, uh, do I work out? I actually do. You, you can't really tell because, uh, I don't know, I'm not really as, as disciplined as I should. But I do try to work out. Uh, this year I had COVID and I try to work out, but I had a horrible pain in my back. I'm not sure if I hurt myself or it was just, you know, part of the COVID symptoms or whatever, but I couldn't really work out that much. Last year I couldn't work out that much because I got a bunch of tattoos. So I'm kind of undisciplined during the last two months, maybe. But now this year I'm recovering again. I'm actually fully recovered. Uh, just right now I finished a boxing uh, set that I used to have. I, I like to have this, I don't even know what it's called, the boxing bag or whatever. And I try to practice as, as slightly. Uh, for those of you who have seen my Instagram stories, maybe you already realized that I'm actually doing a lot of uh, road uh, cycling. Okay, I love it. I've always loved it. But until this year, I decided to buy a, a, a bicycle and just started to do it as a hobby. Sometimes I do. Right now, my target is actually to go to 100 kilometers and start, start doing some, you know, cool uh, trips or whatever in the bicycle. Uh, I like to jog a lot, even though my knee uh, has some problems, my left knee, so I don't do it that much. And I love, of course, lifting weights. So yeah, try to work out every single day if possible. Sometimes when I have, I have a hangover, I don't do it, but most of the times I actually do. Uh, the next question is actually going to be two questions in one. Um, it's, am I still married? And the second one is, how to deal with unsupportive spouse, surroundings, and relatives. And I'm going to combine these two because the answer to the first question is no, I'm not married anymore. I'm actually filing for divorce during this, uh, uh, these few weeks. This is one of the reasons why last year was actually really complicated because I got separated around April from last year. Uh, but I did have a lot of issues since 2020. I got separated the first time on March, 2020. I try to fix things around July, August, 2020, 21. I tried August, September, October, November, December, January, uh, February, and March, but it didn't work out. 
it didn't work out. I don't want to reveal anything in regards to my personal life, obviously, right here. Uh, she's a great person. She is an amazing person. But it's just one thing that you got to realize. And this comes to the second question is that sometimes you just can't really be compatible with everyone. Okay. Uh, we're human beings. We're completely different from each other. But more importantly, you can't let someone else drags you back. Okay. Not letting you go where you want to go, not letting you grow as you want to grow and not let you be who you want to be. Okay. So this is what happened with my ex-wife that she wanted different things. I wanted different things, right? I'm a complete obsessed person for success. Okay. I'm a person who wakes up every single morning at 6 a.m. in the morning without a, an, an alarm clock, without it. I don't need it right now. It's actually going to sound one, which is uh, ironic, right? But it's because I need to take a pill. Where's my phone? I need to take a pill. So that's the reason why it's actually going to you know, start sounding, but I, I hate alarms and I still wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning. Take a look at it. So at 6 a.m. in the morning, I start thinking about my business, think, thinking about what I'm going to do. I wake up at 6 a.m. in the morning. I start looking at comments, shares, likes, whatever. I try to answer a few messages. If I have some from last night and I see if the world didn't change anything during the last eight hours. And then I uh, stand up go and make myself a cup of coffee, like open the curtains of my room, go and make myself a cup of coffee, go back to my office and start working and seeing what's going on. Usually I write down in a notepad what videos I'm going to be recording during the day according to the needs of my audience. I know what type of workout I'm going to have. So I go once I finish with this, I see whatever I have to see. Sometimes I use, uh, I listen to uh, motivational videos, audiobooks. Then I go and do my workout, one hour workout. Then I take a shower. I do all my uh, skincare stuff because I'm getting old. Uh, I don't want, you know, shrinkles or whatever. Then I come back into my office, record the video, which is exactly what I'm doing right here. Then uh, when I finish, I answer all of my people, my team who need help with certain stuff in the company. I answer them and then I'm basically free. So what I do with my free time is actually looking for other ways to make money, right? That's just the way I live. And then I probably, depending on the day, spend time with my kids or whatever. When I was married, this used to be an issue because the person I, that I was with wanted something completely different. Okay. Uh, nothing is bad. Nothing is good in life. Nothing is good. She is, like I said, an amazing and amazing person. But for instance, someone who wants just a job cannot be with an entrepreneur, at least not in my experience. Why? They have different point of views and everything. Okay. And I'm going to turn this into anything, surroundings and relatives. You can have brothers, sisters, your mom, your father, your uncle, your grandparents, your friends, your co-workers, anyone who is around you that has not the same mentality that you have, it's not going to be a good relationship. And I'm not saying, it's, hey, you know what? Don't hang out with those people anymore. Stop talking to them. They're trash. No, I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is you can't expect to connect with everybody. So what you have to do is just deal with the fact that you're different and you're just by yourself. All right. Nobody gave what gave me what I have right now. Okay. I'm a self-made millionaire. Nobody gave me anything. All I needed was a shot and I took it. Okay. And I even broke two other companies before I actually was successful. It's part of the game. But in my specific case, for instance, I couldn't really live with the fact that we were different. Why? Because you and your spouse are supposed to be a team. Okay. If you're not a team, then I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't like living like that. I'm, I'm sorry if you are in a position like that and you decide to fight for your marriage. That's fine. That's up to you. But I decided not to go through it. And the reason why is because I really cared about my own happiness. And it's the same with the family. I actually stopped hanging out with a bunch of friends, with a bunch of my friends, with ex-friends or whatever, because they didn't really add anything positive to my life. Does that make sense? So one thing that you have to keep in mind is that these things happen, man. These things happen. You have to deal with it. Okay. Right now I can tell you this up front. Obviously I went through a bunch of bad crap last year. Okay. 
And even right now that I'm filing for divorce, I still have issues. Okay. We still have misunderstandings. We still have different point of views. Okay. For some people, this might seem like, Hey, you know what? It seems like if you don't want to, if you don't get what you want, just go away. Well, it, that's exactly what it is. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Okay. Some people decide to fight and fight and fight over or, or, uh, you know, in favor of a relationship, but I decided not to. And not because I didn't love her or not because I didn't want to get married or not because I was, uh, you know, regretting. No, it's just because if I wasn't happy anymore, nothing should keep you where you don't want to be. Obviously, this is the case with the kids and with my two daughters. But at the end of the day, it's just, you know, something that you need to learn how to handle and your kids need to know how to handle. And it's the same with friends. I know it's hard for my mom and I not to have the same mentality, but we need to learn how to handle it. Right. So we handle it. We never speak about work. We never speak about certain things that we don't agree on. Well, that's it. At the end of the day, she saw my success and she was like, okay, you are right. And whatever is it that you do, you are right. Cause she doesn't even understand what I do anymore. So yeah, to answer the two questions, no, I'm not married anymore. I love the marriage experience though. It's just, you know, we're not compatible with that person. I wish her or the best, but it's over. And if you're going through a situation like this, don't take this advice like, oh, a Christian says I should get divorced because we don't think the same with my wife. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying just respect yourself more than you respect anybody else. If you don't respect yourself, you can't respect other people. If you don't love yourself, you don't love some people. If you're not hungry enough for your success, nobody is going to come and come and tell you, here's my success. Take it from me. Okay. This is with your friends. This is with your parents. No, not everybody's going to understand what you do. Okay. What is it that I do? I focus on books. I focus on audiobooks. I focus on seminars. I focus on trainings. I focus on my businesses. I focus on myself learning every single day. And I promise you people around me emulate what I do. My daughters, my friends, my brothers, all right. My, uh, well, my mom couldn't, can, right. But other people that actually look at me and they say like, Hey, you're so young and you're so, so I don't even know how you do it. And I'm like, I don't know too. You know, I just, all I do is day. I just live in a day to day activity uh, mindset where I keep my routine in order. And these are the results that I have. Okay. So if you're going through some similar, I do recommend you that you focus on yourself first. Just be selfish, man. I even got a message saying I was completely selfish for the way I thought. And I was like, I am. And I'm proud of it. Why? Because if you know, if you're not selfish, someone else is going to come and hurt you. It's just better if you hurt yourself and you recover yourself because people are going to come and hurt you, but they're not going to come and help you back when I was broke. Nobody came to me and said, Hey, you know what? I'm going to give you money. Nobody did. So I had to go out and get it myself. So don't be, don't be like dragged down or dragged back with, from people who are not supportive, uh, and people that don't think the same of you. Okay. At the end of the day, your results are going to be the ones who are actually going to say whether you were right or wrong. And it's not even right or wrong whether you are happy or un unhappy. When you're happy, you know you did the right thing. When you're unhappy, you know you probably did or made that decision for the wrong reason, okay? So hey, hopefully you enjoyed this video. It, it was 30 minutes. I really knew it was gonna be around this time. So hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, uh, smash the like button. This is more like a personal video. It's not a day trading video, but let me know in the comment section below. Uh, what do you think about it? If you've gone through similar stuff and more importantly, if you by any chance you want me to do a part two video, I just named it part one because I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a part two video. So let me know in the comment section below and thank you for watching this video. Don't be, uh, don't forget to be subscribed and I'll see you on the next one.